While the U.S. presidential elections may be months away, the battle of opinion and popularity polls continue. This time, a CNN poll revealed that former U.S. President Donald Trump has a better success percentage as compared to the incumbent, Joe Biden. Let's take a look at what the numbers say based on the survey conducted days ago. Between April 18th to the 23rd, a substantial number of Americans, 61% of them, feel that Joe Biden's presidency so far has been a failure. Meanwhile, 39% say of feel that he's a better leader. Let's now see what the results are for Donald Trump with respect to his tenure from 2016 to 2020. 55% of Americans feel that he was a better president, while 44% believe that he failed. The survey also brings to light a critical factor which has many people miffed with the US president. Results reveal that a dismal rating for Biden can potentially be traced to how people feel about the way Joe Biden is handling the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. As per the poll, 71% people disapprove of how the U.S. president has dealt with the conflict and the war-induced crises in Gaza. But it's not just the war that has many people disappointed with Biden. Those who took the survey also have a negative view of how the Democrat leader has handled the economy as compared to his political rival Donald Trump. When asked which presidential candidate do voters prefer in terms of dealing with the U.S. economy, 62% of Americans said they preferred Donald Trump to handle economic concerns in America. Only 30% leaned towards Joe Biden, while the rest were undecided or preferred a third alternative. Adele Nazarian is a political commentator and she's now joining us from Washington, D.C. Good to see you, Adele, and welcome to Race to Power. Uh, the political polls or the pollsters have been deviating, they've been fluctuating ever since January. Um, but now the political or the... How do I say it? How do I put it? I'm, I'm trying to put it in better terms. The likelihood of Joe Biden satisfying Americans has decreased over the months. Why is it so? Has he failed in his presidency? Eric, great to be on with you again. You know, it's interesting. We saw a very similar dynamic when, when in 2016 it was Hillary versus Trump, and we saw them boosting, you know, the polls and, you know, adding numbers here and there and selectively choosing you know, a demographic that would lend results that were what the media networks wanted. So I have to tell you, I, I, I think it, what what the CNN poll obviously shows Trump leading. I think that's that's pretty accurate. But what I think also people need to look at is the NBC News poll, which we'll get to in a second. But um, I want to say back to answer your question. I do think that everyday Americans have are, are losing faith in Joe Biden's ability to lead the country from an economic perspective. I think we've seen now, what is it, two, two wars, three wars, essentially, two wars ongoing that the, the America has entered since he's taken office. Mm -hmm. And this is just costing taxpayers billions of more dollars. There's more 61 billion sent again to Ukraine foreign aid. This is precisely the very thing that Donald Trump stood against. Mm -hmm. And if you can take him from a purely economic policy and just a policy standpoint and perspective, I think everyday Americans truly do feel safer um, from a policy perspective with a Trump presidency as opposed to a Biden presidency, especially with how, you know, this Middle East conflict has been handled. Right. And I think that also is is showing. Um, I'd love to address the NBC poll also, if, if you'll if you'll let me. Okay, um, before you address the NBC poll, uh, let's talk about Trump. If these trials that he's currently facing were not there, could he have a, an edge possibly in the 2024 elections? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think it actually is two pronged. I think it's a catch 22 in a sense. 
if if the if the trials if they hadn't thrown everything in the kitchen sink after him and gone after him the way that they're going um over something that i don't think is even i mean it's it's crazy it's a little it's very hyped up and it's completely political uh, i think he'd have a higher uh percentage lead over biden however i do also think that believe it or not those who are paying close attention and are doing their due diligence doing their homework are seeing that this is politically motivated and i think it's even brought some voters who maybe were not even interested in, in engaging in voting to actually register to actually go towards trump due to the fact that this is a clear overstepping of the judicial process mm -hmm. and the politicization of it so i think it's worked in, in both ways it's both hurt him but it's also helped him uh, right. it really depends on who you speak with adele you did request to address the NBC poll. I'll give you just a few seconds to address it. Thank you. I just want to say quickly, it's fascinating to me how NBC put out a poll where they actually said based on everyday Americans' media consumption of national news, Biden actually leads with those who consume national news from, from legacy media. And those who don't watch political news actually are voting for Trump. Those who get their, their news instead through social media and alternative platforms, I think that does the networks in, in and of themselves to show where their political biases are. So um, it's going to be a very, very tough race ahead. Uh, I think Trump did well in terms of using the media in 2016 to his advantage. This time, clearly, it's not helping him mm -hmm. when you go to legacy media and traditional media sources. All right. Adele Nazarian, as always, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.